When I think about Enduring Spirit, I can't help but think about the fact that I work at a company that has been around through 2020. Navigating a pandemic, navigating supply chain issues, navigating shortages, navigating all of these issues. And yet we managed to survive and thrive. And I think we're not defined by what happens to us, but how we react to it. I'm so proud of what we accomplished um, versus what we really overcame. People figured out a way to make it work. They took bold steps and delivered a record-breaking year. As we move on this journey to integrate IMC, what we were doing over time for the past 150 years just was sped up in the period of three years. And we're all having an impact on how we reach consumers. The fact that we continue to lean on those values, pivot when we need to, and allow ourselves to be nimble and agile while also bringing the best products to consumers in a responsible way, to me, that's powerful. And in order to endure, you have to adapt. And doing the things it takes to set up the company for the next generation. We actually came out stronger from the pandemic. We reorganized, we put our processes in order. Uh, we really grew. We can't just always keep doing things the same way that we always have. We have to be innovative. So what I've really seen in the past year is a desire to test and learn. So it's really about creating that safe space. special place because of the people. We create space for different perspectives. We create space for different experiences. When you feel like you're connected, you want to work harder. It does give people a sense that they're empowered to go make some big decisions and, and make things happen. It's a combination of knowing where you come from, respecting that legacy, learning from the people that came before us with an eye towards the future as well. All of that leads to really very carefully thought through plans. We're bringing our wonderful brands to our consumers in a way that is meaningful and memorable and bolder and better. I mean, this was a great year of getting things right. And so I think we hit the ground running as we begin to start the stopwatch on what the next 10 years look like. It's about putting yourself out there. It's about being on your front foot. It's about doing the right things. It's about taking an approach and an attitude towards the business of being around for another 152 years. Mm -hmm.